sector development, though the former president, John Dramani Mahama, has sent out a strongly worded statement and a warning to aspirants and their campaigners who are associating his name to their campaign. John Mahama has denied any preference for the aspiring candidates and condemned a newspaper publication that aimed um, that is aimed at his family supporting the candidature of Johnson as in Ketia. For many who have monitored the build-up to the NDC's national executives race, the association of the former president's name with certain candidates is no news. And it is for obvious reasons John Dramani Mahama is the presumptive flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress and the former president is not hitting that intention from the public. He is currently the biggest and most recognizable name in the party and only surviving former president of the NDC. He had led the party's lectures on slot and government and is equally the most referred name in the NDC when the governing New Patriotic Party chastises the NDC. But the event of Saturday, December 10, at the party's Youth and Women's Conference would demand the former leader more than ever to serve a last warning about his name and its reputation. This is because with several others eyeing the position of flag bearer, should the 10th National Congress go down as it did in Cape Coast with all the chaos, the fallout would be dire, not only for the candidates, but the chances of Mr. Mahama himself within the NDC. So the statement by the former president's aide would hope to extricate him from any associations with any candidate and put him in good light as the person of choice that all eventual winners and even losers and their followers can work with.